did well there, Tommy Makinson. He certainly did. Phil talked earlier about pressure and, and, and patience as well. And you're a Bradford player, 20 minutes into this game. you got to thrive in cir circumstances like this. Uh -oh. Well, that looked a little forward to Wilkin, but Saints on hanging around to this debate it. This is Wellens, and he's hauled down. They just got to him, but here come the Saints. It's with Wheeler. They've got to get it wide. It's oh, an it's easy throw in here for Dixon. But the boos are ringing around this ground because they believe there's a forward pass in the build-up. It was a forward. There's little doubt in anybody's mind apart from the man with the whistle. And Foster, the man who kicked the penalty goal after the final siren here last June to earn a 14-all draw, but has missed with this one. 4-0, though, Saints. I know you're debating. Big question mark over it. Bad possession. You need to get to your kick. I think it's imperative on this set. If you don't score, at least get your kick. Make St. Helens bring it off their own line. The strange is there, and... Uh, it's Bradford trying to find their way back into this match. Super League back chat is available on the website on a Tuesday, and the hosts are here. I've got Steve O alongside me, and uh, Rod is downstairs. You're going to start an argument with us now, Rod, or leave it till Tuesday? <laughs> yeah, probably leave it to Tuesday. One thing there's not to argue about it's not raining anymore, Eddie. It has stopped, and it's, uh, it's not a bad evening down here now as Jeffrey's chips ahead. Looking for Price, the ball has come free. It's hacked forward, and Whitehead! Now then, is this going to be a try? He's going to hand it upstairs. He's going to give it, is Richard Silverwood. That's a good try, and Whitehead is hurt in the process. Tag on two for his team. Paul Sykes trying to drift it towards the post and does so brilliantly. So Paul Wellens, well, the skipper, is arguing that's with that's the that's official, that's but they've made the decision. Richard Silverwood has said in the course of scoring the try, a foul was indicated Therefore, lashing out with the boot, it is under report. And this is a very rare thing that we see in rugby league. But a vital opportunity is kicked it right from the sideline. The conversion, surely, he will add the extra two. And what a bonus it's turned out. An eight-point try. Sykes adds the extras. I think the problem for Foster was that... Uh, Whitehead had the ball in hand when his foot made contact. I mean, he's there. Oh, he's, got a, he's got a right to swing, but, I mean. But not with his foot, Brian, surely. Well, well you can, uh, sure, you can clear the ball with your foot. I mean, if, it, if it's... If it's uh, boy, St. Helens, uh, as we've mentioned, they really have got to up the tempo. Bradford, of course, they're gaining in confidence. OK, there's only uh, four points between them. Courtesy, of course, of that uh, eight-point try. Controversial. Interesting scoreline here. Interesting half-time from Perpignan you've just seen going through the bottom of your screen. Hull KR 12-6 up against the Catalan Dragons. Hull KR, the team that were beaten by Bradford last weekend. This is Heath the Strange. Should we go downstairs and pick up the half-time news from Rod? Well, thanks, Eddie. Yeah, I mean, the message and the mantra from both coaches, very similar. And it's all about conditions out there. And, uh, well, Bradford coach Mick Potter feeling that Saints have played the conditions slightly better than his boys in the first half. He's just saying play for the conditions, which they're doing here. Oh, Foster has made an absolute porridge of that. And Price has capitalised. Could be anything. Yep. Puts his mind to it, he could be anything. Well, yep. he, re he returned a kick from St. Helens a minute or two ago, which had all the sort of commitment that you want from your players. That kick won't make an extra two points from Paul Sykes to do a St. Helens special tonight well he thought about it didn't he Ben Jeffries <laughs> as he pulled us he shaped up the little one point and then put it into the corner his kicking game tonight has been outstanding eight points in 60 seconds it's an impossibility unless it's an eight point try and here goes Melly Melly down the line Melly is going to go in Melly is in in the corner for St. Helens just gets there a la Danny Bruff at Huddersfield, bump, oh!